Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products and focus. So we have a quick jump on the US 30. Um, the US market was actually much higher towards the end of the session, uh, even though we've had some additional kind of news kind of come out overnight that there was a bomb scare in Hanover at the latest um, uh, kind of German versus Holland match which Angela Merkel was due to uh, attend, it ended up being a hoax. We've seen two Air France flights from the US uh, that were due to land to Paris uh, be diverted for emergency landings due to, again, more bomb hoax. And uh, this morning, more gunfire in Paris as um, we've seen counterterrorism officers attempt to arrest the so-called mastermind of the Paris attacks, a uh, 27-year-old French-Belgian national. Um, and I think a number of uh, officers have been hurt in that arrest. So that's kind of the back, the background uh, as to what a lot of people are talking just now. It's still spillover from the terror attacks at the weekend and uh, just lots of fear and anxiety across there. And that's kind of been felt across some of the world markets. We've seen the uh, US 30 come down slightly from that, from that high that it was making yesterday. It's a little bit negative so far this morning. Most of the global equity markets are just going to slowly drifting back down again as risk appetite begins to wane. So potential resistance on the US 30 at 17,561 remains in play. So then looking at the UK 100, um, it was actually a little bit more uh, successful at holding on to those gains last night. A little bit on the, down, on the downside this morning uh, with a red candle potentially capped with this 55 period SMA adding support but there is a potential resistance at 6,300 that it needs to get its head over. Commodity market is not doing a huge amount, still looking very pressured, so that's not really helping the UK 100. So then um, looking at Japan 225, uh, similar picture off the session highs yesterday, negative the uh, potential uh, resistance 20,087 still um, to be uh, within a stone's throw, to be fair, uh, especially with all the quantitative easing that um, Japan could do. Their economic data is a bit middling. Some people think it's only a matter of time before the government acts there. Looking at dollar yen, dollar yen had a decent day yesterday, not able to break through the tip of this candle, around about 123 spot six, so 123 and change. Um, very similar pattern, I guess, to, uh, to a lot of the equity markets. You've had two days of gains and a little bit of a sell-off first thing this morning. So then moving on to West Texas crude, we do have crude oil inventories due today. Um, we had a, a failure to break through $42 yesterday, pushed back down again. We're slightly negative first thing this morning, if only just. The tips of these candles are indicative that there is buying interest around about $60. So there could be like a kind of a new range between 60 and uh, between 40, sorry, and 42. So having a look at the yellow metal, it uh, actually broke through potential um, support yesterday below 1,072, and that's relatively significant. We've had a reversal, um, a retracement back up to 1,072 this morning, uh, failure to break back through resistance. Now what we have to do is go max here. Actually, let's go on to a weekly interval because we really want to get an idea of where that next potential support is now that we have broken um, the 1,072 level. So arguably, you would, it's not that far away, maybe you go to here. Perfect. Right, so if we jump back onto our daily interval for a second, you can see that the next potential support is around about 1,048, okay? So that should be quite an interesting level for us to look at. So that's where we are with gold, obviously interest rates still in, uh, in discussion. Not much in the way of US macro data today uh, until you get on to the week, until you get to Thursday and Friday. Uh, we do have employment data and the Philly Fed data from um, from the US on Thursday. And then on Friday, you've got UK Public Finances, German PPI, and uh, Eurozone Consumer Confidence. So the only US macro data that we've really got is going to be tomorrow. So um, that's at 1.30 UK time, Philly Fed and employment data. Uh, and then today all you have is really those petroleum sales. Uh, which will be uh, of, of interest to people trading West Texas crude. So then jumping on to Euro dollar, drifting ever lower. In the middle of two ranges right now, one spot 0.524 is a potential support. Uh, the low made in uh, mid-April uh, mid 2015. Uh, and this is still just about to go positive, negative. It's a pretty much bang on the line right now. We're at 106.43. So we're just a little bit over the halfway mark of that range. So moving on then to uh, cable. Cable uh, had a kind of a bounce yesterday. Uh, very interesting candle formations just above one spot 51.73. Um, we're at the bottom end of the range right now. 
but right now we're pretty much bang on that support level where we are just now okay not that far away and we should be okay so that gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect today keep your eye on the chart form as ever make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next